Oh man, today's gonna be so much fun. It's either gonna be really fun or a really bad idea. <laughs> yeah, so when we got Scout, we bought him at a reptile show called Repticon. And this was a few years back in Atlanta. Yep. They have him all over the country and we've gone to several. Yep. And he's, he's, he's feisty today. <laughs> we've gone to several, but since we've gotten him, we have never taken him to a Repticon. And you can take your reptiles and there's people that take them. <laughs> he, he's fired up today. He's ready to go. He wants to get on the ground. Yeah. No, so, um, <laughs> stop, he's <don't. laughs> He gotta cover his eyes and he stops. We're bringing the stroller to keep him safe because you know he's fired up today. He's yep. not gonna stay still. He's gonna wanna run around. But we're gonna see a bunch of cool reptiles, snakes, and other bearded dragons, and probably iguanas, turtles, and... frogs, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. And we'll get to see what Scout thinks about them. Yeah. So, it's his first Repticon that he's not for sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see some relatives. Huh. This is going to be fun. Yeah. They've got these little tortoises here. These little tortoises are little babies. They're only about six months old, but these guys will live to 75 to 80 years old. So if you come to a reptile show and buy one of these little tortoises, yeah, get ready to put it in your will because the thing's going to outlive you. Chopping for wood? Yeah, you got, got wood? Good more stuff. Got lots of wood. What do you think of this one? You want that one? You climb on it? Test it out? <laughs> Are you shopping? You gotta try out the merchandise. I like that. Well, this might be a winner. Yeah? Yeah. It's the baby! We finally found the only lizard at Repticon so far that is bigger than Scout. Yeah. Scout's been the biggest so far, but this guy, this guy's got him beat. What a day, man. It was. Scout was so popular today. Oh my God, people could not get over how big he is. Yeah, we got several comments where they said that is the biggest- Largest we've seen. Bearded dragon I've ever seen in my and life. So many breeders say he is a German giant. Yeah, so if, if we got breeders telling us that he has German giant in him, at least partial, yeah, there were a couple a, that thought he was full, but a couple said he's got it somewhere in his bloodline. Yeah, they said there's no way, even living free range, because they do get a little bit bigger when they live free yeah. range, because they're not in a habitat and confined to that space. But even that, they're like, there's no way he's that big unless he has some German, German giant, giant in him. In him. Yeah. yeah, so who knew? It was a learning experience. So we got some cool stuff to show yeah. you. Once we get back to the house, we'll show you everything that we got for yeah. Scout, and we'll, we'll show you what he does or what he doesn't do with it. Yeah. <laughs> he might just well, ignore it. he like it. it or will he not yeah. like it? So let's drive back to the house and we'll pop out all the stuff that we bought and we'll show you what he's got. Okay. Now we've got a new climbing log. Nice. It looks like a bearded dragon almost kind of. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to arrange it yet. And where's this going? Where's this big thing going? Well, is it going in his habitat? Yeah. Or is it going over here somewhere? Well, it can be universal. It's going to be in his habitat, but it can come out for purposes of playing on. I got you. But I'm going to redo, I'm going to rearrange, take some things out and give him some new, new entertainment. His little ramp up there is this wide and Scout yeah. is this wide. <laughs> <laughs> 
He needs a new ramp. He yeah. perches up there a lot. So I've got him some cork. And this is definitely wider. So this will be his new ramp to go up. All right. And then we're going to try something different. We've never done with him before. I'm not thrilled about it. Scott's watching football. Scott's over here <laughs> watching the Army-Navy game. Yep. Go Army. We're going to try some cockroaches. <laughs> yeah, so once we get, I say we, Leslie's going to do it. Yeah. Once she gets all this situated up here, we'll show you, well, first we'll show you the before, what it looks like now, and then we'll show you what it looks like once, once she gets it all arranged yeah. and stuff. All right, here's Scout's current setup in his habitat. He has his log over there. He has this little branch ramp that leads up to the top of the cork, so he can go either go up top there or go through the cork. And then he has another log over there and a plank that he can either go on top of or he can hide underneath if he wants to escape the heat. Well, it is the next morning because Leslie was up fixing the habitat. Are you happy with how it turned out? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the space is a space, so it's all I got to work with. But... So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to show you what it looks like now, the after, because I already showed it before. And by the time this video comes out, it won't look like that anymore. Stop. I ha he hasn't <laughs> played on it yet, so I have to see how it functions for him. Okay. If I've positioned everything correctly to support his weight, that he doesn't get stuck in anything, if he tries to bust a U in there, yeah. you know, get stuck. I gotta watch him use it before I know 100% that's the way I can leave it. Okay, well, I'll show you what it looks like right now, and it may or may not look like that by the time you watch this. I'm hoping it stays like this. Me too. So. <laughs> he still has the log on this side. That hasn't changed. He has the new cork ramp that leads to the cork pass-through that he had before. And then on this side is what's really, really changed a lot. He has the driftwood that's kind of like a hide, and he can also climb up high if he wants to. And so he's got some of his other little things way back there in the corner that you can't hardly see. It's kind of like just hiding corners and stuff, but I don't know. We'll see how he likes it. He's, he slept on the ramp. Yeah, he did. He slept up here on the ramp last night and he seemed to be pretty comfortable. He didn't fall down, so. Well, now we're going to try the cockroaches. He was, he was so tired last night that he didn't want to eat. So you can really hear him. Yeah. You can really hear him scurrying around in there. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but they're like. You hear them? Maybe you just take them out of the cup. You want this guy? You want this guy? Oh, Jitty. No on him. Oh, oh God. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Roach on the floor thing. Not a good game plan. Leslie dumped almost the whole tub on the floor and we had roaches everywhere. Are you traumatized? No, not. <laughs> I'm a few things right now, but traumatized not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> he seems quite disinterested in the roaches, he's, honestly. He just wants to play right now. Yeah, he's playing. Maybe we'll try again later. Cockroaches are out. No, not a fan. Not doing it. No. He even yesterday, after we offered the roaches, offered him lettuce, and he ate the lettuce. He ate the lettuce. So, you know, if he prefers lettuce over that, he's not going to eat it. No. Because he don't prefer lettuce hardly over anything. No, and, and he's mostly a protein guy, yeah. so he likes his bugs. I don't but... know if he's just confused by it, or he don't know what they are, or I don't know. Maybe we introduced roaches too late in life. Late life, maybe. Yeah. Or if they just don't have a right kind of smell. Maybe. Because yeah. there's been other bugs, like larva bugs that I've bought him that he's snubbed. And yeah. it just maybe the smell they give off, he's not so, intrigued. I don't know. But either way, he got a couple of pieces of wood. <laughs> and he got to re redo his habitat. And he got to hang out at Repticon. Well, we haven't measured Scout in a while. No, we do need to measure him. Let's measure him. Okay. All right. <laughs> Turning his head. And go from the tip. You want me to hold it? <laughs> it's 
like, what are you doing, man? Thank you. Lick, lick it. Yeah. Well, to his nose, he's 22 and a half. Well, he was still a little bent, so. Yeah, but. You gotta get him fully. 23 and a half. 23 and a half? Yeah. I don't want roaches. I don't want And I don't want to be measured. <laughs> Well, we had a great time at Repticon. It was fun. It was. Yeah, it was fun. Very educational. Got some cool stuff. Yeah. And Scout's first Repticon was a smashing success. Yes. Yeah. It was a hit. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye buddy. Are you ignoring me? Okay. See you later.